Three judges in San Francisco say they will make a ruling soon on whether to restore President Trump's controversial travel ban. The attorney for the Trump administration asked for a stay after a federal judge temporarily blocked the order last week. His position is that the president acted within his power after determining there was a real risk from the seven countries, mostly Muslim. The attorney representing Minnesota and Washington argued that the ban causes irreparable harm. Now, both sides face tough questions from the judges of the appeals court. Two judges were really questioning the ban. The third questioned whether it was truly a ban on Muslims, as has been alleged. After the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals rules, the losing side will likely take the case to the Supreme Court. And if it ends with a 4-4 tie there, the Court of Appeals ruling will stand. There is a new sheriff in town, a phrase that sums up President Trump's meeting with sheriffs from around the country yesterday. We're going to be very tough on crime. We're going to be very tough on uh, the drugs pouring in, and that's a big part of the crime. We're going to be very strong at the border. We have no choice. And uh, we're going to be building a wall. We're starting very soon. General Kelly will be working with a lot of you. Hennepin County Sheriff Rich Stanick was a part of that meeting. Mary McGuire joins us now from our newsroom. Mary, coming out of that meeting, Sheriff Stanick had some high praise for our president. He certainly did. Stanick told the Star Tribune that he was proud to be there at that White House meeting, saying, with Trump, it was what he can do for us. He said he had our back and he will work with us. Stanick was joined by a small group of other sheriffs from across the country at the White House yesterday morning. This meeting comes a week after Stanick announced the no overdose campaign campaign in Hennepin County targeted at reducing the number of overdose deaths. 144 people died last year in Hennepin County as a result of opioid overdose, which is 31 percent increase from last year. We need help. 80 plus percent of those drugs come from south of the border. I mean, you have a big problem with the refugees pouring in, don't you? Yes, we do, sir. All we're asking is what you're doing, which is let the courts decide, uh, do what we've been doing. The rule of law is strong. And the proper vetting of individuals is really important to us. Well, you know, the vetting is much, much tougher now. And uh, we need this court case that would be very helpful to keeping the wrong people out of our country. You understand that better than anybody. I do, sir. I think we're going to have some good results. Now, you heard the issue of Somali refugees also come up. Following that meeting, Stanek was on Fox News last night speaking with Sean Hannity. And we'll have part of that conversation coming up in our next half hour. And Mary, the president also talked about the 2016 election. That's right. President Trump said he would have won Minnesota if he had visited our state one more time during the campaign. Take a listen. Mr. President, Rich Stanek, Hennepin County, Minneapolis, Minnesota. First off, thank you very much. As uh, Ms. <coughs> Conway said, next time up by three points in my state. I think. Put it over the top. Well, we Second, almost won your state. You know, we weren't supposed to do very well in your state, and we won lost by one point. I say if I went there one more visit, we would have won. <laughs> We would have won Minnesota, but it was very close. Thank you. Very Many close. of us have you back, Mr. President. Thank you. I just want to say now, at the end of that meeting, the group presented Trump with a statue of a sheriff, saying it was the first time the statue has been presented to a person who is not from law enforcement. So some laughs at the end of that meeting. Okay. Mary McGuire, thank you.